The first step is selecting a wood to carbonize. Here, I've chosen oak, but in the past I've also used bamboo and pine and even pine cones. The next step is carbonization. For the carbonization step, I've chosen to use a cast iron skillet, but really you can use anything as long as you make it an anaerobic environment. This means there can be no oxygen present. In order to make this cast iron skillet anaerobic, I wrap it with tin foil. Now it's not perfect, but I found that it works. To carbonize the oak, I just use a regular old camp stove. And for this step, it's very simple. All you do is turn it to high heat and wait until the smoke stops. So you'll be able to see what that looks like here. Once you see that smoke start to settle down, you can go ahead and check on your wood. Now, when you know it's done, you'll see no brown spots and it's very brittle, so it breaks apart easily. After you've carbonized your sample, it's important to grind it up. This way you maximize your surface area. Once you finish grinding, you're ready to transition into the activation step. As I'm getting ready to activate, I go ahead and wrap a plate in tin foil, and this is because I'm activating outside. And I really want to maximize, maximize my yield. And in order to do this, I don't want any of it to blow away. Now we've reached a very crucial step in the process, the activation stage. And here it's very easy to mess up. You can completely ruin your batch. So what you're gonna do is you're going to place this plate that you've created or whatever metal plate you decide to activate on, onto the campfire stove. And for best results, you wanna keep your sample within 500 to 600 degrees Celsius for six minutes. If you go over, you can ruin it, and if you don't keep it hot enough, you can ruin it. It's also important to mix your sample throughout this entire process so that everything gets evenly activated.
After it's all said and done, I ended up with about 15 and a half grams of activated charcoal. And hopefully you end up with more and you probably will because I activated my sample on a particularly windy day. Now for the disclaimer portion of the video. I'd like to note that it's important not to use woods that have any glues, dyes, preservatives, um, paint, or anything of that nature. I'd also like to note that I'm not a medical professional and to make sure when you're activating and carbonizing that you're not doing it in a closed area and to also go ahead and do everything at your own risk. Now I'd like to give thanks to everybody who made this possible. Chen Wei and Atiano Mipsi really pioneered this project and laid the groundwork. This year I worked on it with Steven Nelson, he was my partner. John Peacock, Mark Kinjo, Ronald Celestine, Christina Harris, and Berkwing Fees also provided very crucial feedback and thoughts during out the process and helped with a lot of the ideas while we were trying to figure out the best way to go about creating activated charcoal. And without all these people, this project definitely would not have been possible.